Hi, and welcome to this session on analyzing performance issues with profiling. My name is uh, Peter Boring. So five releases ago, in 2022 release way one, we launched the in-client performance profiler, a very powerful tool for investigating performance issues across extensions directly inside of the web client. Since then, profiling has become essential to identify application performance problems for customers, partners, and support, and is the main performance troubleshooting tool used uh, today by partners. So as a recap, uh, you open the Incline Performance uh, Profile tool from the Help and Support page. Uh, there's a troubleshooting section where you can choose Analyze Performance, or you can also search for Performance Profiler in the Tell Me. So let's switch to the client and see what happens then. So here we now see the inclined uh, performance profiler that we had in the product for, for quite some releases. And so the concept of the inclined performance profiler is that you can uh, start uh, a recording, you perform your repro steps, uh, you stop, and then you inspect the results uh, to try to identify what could be slow. And let's try that out. So to minimize the amount of, uh, of content that you, uh, that you record, it's recommendable to open the tool in a new pane and you can have them side by side because then you can basically navigate here uh, in the product without having, uh, you know, before actually doing the recording. So here we now have the two windows side by side. Uh, so what was slow was going to the customer's list. So I will start the performance profiler. Uh, I will perform a repro steps in the UI, which was opening customers. Uh, we can see that it takes uh, some time. And we wait until the result is done and we can stop the performance profiler. Let's just maximize the uh, results uh, here. So what the performance profiler results is showing is the apps that take part of the process that we captured. So in this case, I had a profiler app and you can see that it takes up to five seconds uh, to execute content in the Profiler app. Uh, we can enable technical information, and in the technical information, uh, we can scroll down and we can see, for example, the time spent uh, by application object. We see there's a page extension in this app that takes uh, almost five seconds. And we can even expand on the call tree to see uh, what is what's actually happening here. And we see that the unopened page in the page extension took, uh, again, almost uh, five seconds. So this enabled us to understand um, where time is spent among the extensions and also gives us some context about where to do further investigation on a performance uh, issue. For example, uh, I would probably go and look at the unopened page in this uh, page extension. So one of the challenges with the inclined performance profiler that we just saw is that capturing a performance profile is interactive. So either the uh, user that has a problem uh, needs to capture uh, this profile, uh, and that likely involves getting some help either by a customer admin or maybe even from a consultant or a support uh, person. Could also be that a consultant or support, support uh, personnel must do this. That requires that they have access to the environment and likely they still need to get in contact with the user to get a, a concise repro uh, uh, to be able to themselves reproduce the issue. And this is uh, inefficient, takes time, takes collaboration. Also, issues might be trans transient and hard to reproduce, right? Maybe even if they have the repro step, it doesn't repro that one time they do it. Maybe it's something that happens during the day under certain special scenarios that the user might not be aware was part of the repro steps. Also, the inclined profiler only supports interactive user flows. So that means that you cannot profile web service calls or background sessions like job queues from within the client. To make it easier and faster for customers, consultants, developers, partners, and support to capture a profile and thereby lower manual collaboration and time to mitigate, this release introduces scheduled profiles. So with these, you can capture performance profiles automatically and non-interactively in the background based on well-defined rules for when to trigger the capture of a profile. 
the, the rules that um, you use to, to capture can then be set up by a partner. The user can just perform their uh, task during the day, and then the partner can come back later and analyze the profiles afterwards to see if there's any um, obvious performance issues, trends, or something like that in the profiles. So this reduces the time spent on collaboration and guidance and reduces time to mitigate. And it also gives us the ability to support both user actions, but also web service calls and background tasks. So just like with the inclined performance profiler, you can invoke this from help and support in a troubleshooting section still. There's a new option called analyze performance with scheduled profiler, or you can again search in tell me for profiler schedules. Let's see how that works. So when you invoke that, Profiler Schedules opens up, and that gives you an overview to manage all of your different schedules for capturing profiles. So basically, the different rule sets that you defined uh, on when you would like to capture profiles in the background. And so in this case, uh, I just have uh, two already that I used uh, prior to this uh, launch session, but let's create a new one. So I, I can invoke a new, and that opens up the Profiler Schedule uh, card. Right, and so um, here I define my criteria for when I want to do a capture. So the first thing you have is that you can enable or disable uh, the, the, this rule set, right? And I want to capture a profile in a moment, so I will keep this enabled. You can then define a start and stop time or start and end time for the duration that you want to capture in. Uh, by default, it suggests uh, an hour from now, and I'm going to keep that because I just want to do a short demo. But in theory, you could have run it uh, all day, for example, and then come back and analyze. It depends a little bit on uh, the circumstances and how often the user is running um, the scenario, or if it's a web service uh, call that you want to catch up and profile, etc. I can also do a um, description here, and that's just you know to have uniqueness in, in the UI here. Then I can select uh, which user that I want to run this for. I want to run it as myself. Uh, and you can select uh, what type that you want to profile. So it can be activity in the browser, if I'm clicking around, opening a customer card or something like that. It can also be background tasks, so job queues, or web service calls that I want to uh, trigger on. Like for the existing profiling uh, scenarios, you can set the sampling frequency. That's basically um, how often we look at what is going on as part of profiling. You can set the activity duration threshold. That's basically uh, how small uh, or, or how slow should things be uh, before we start profiling it. Right, and I'll, I'll set that to 100, a little lower. And you can also set the retention period because we save these profiles uh, on the um, NST or the service. And after some certain time, they will be deleted and, and you can invoke that as well or set that as well. So now we have that live. And so basically what we would do, this is monitoring uh, me and my activities. So I'm just going to go out of profiler schedules. Uh, I'm just going to go and um, actually uh, rerun uh, this customer's uh, page that I had. And because that's the scenario that was a little bit slow. And we see it slow now as well. And just for the sake of the uh, demo itself, let's uh, open up a card. Uh, we can also just in sales go to some items just to do a little thing, uh, different things, right, that could mimic how a user could use this during uh, the day. So now we want to look at the results. Uh, there's different ways that you can do that. You can either open a performance profiles page. Uh, that will basically just open uh, up all of the capture profiles, not just for this schedule or this set of rules, but for everything. So um, if you want to have it filtered to a specific task or specific schedule, it's actually better to go in and look at the, the specific uh, profiler schedule that we set up before. So I defined this PC Live uh, schedule. And there you have an action for opening the profiles that was captured. And then they're filtered just to this schedule. And we see uh, that I performed opening the customer list uh, and also the item list here. Going into the actual card was actually too fast to be noticed.
And we see that we have some slowness in, in these scenarios. And again, uh, we can drill in to then the profile like before. And it's the exact same result that we see now. Again, uh, the, something is really slow in the profile extension. I can go into the technical information and I can drill down and I can again see things like the call tree and understand what is taking uh, all of the time. And we see again that this unopened page takes uh, almost five seconds, uh, right? So this is a way of using background profiling. So what should you do? Well, first of all, if you haven't already tried it out, use the existing profiling uh, features uh, that we have in client that I showed in the beginning, but also the ability to profile from within Visual Studio Code if you are a developer. Then use the new capability of scheduling profile captures so that they can run in the background uh, this is mainly targeting uh, consultants uh, and support. Um, you can go to aka.ms bc troubleshooting and read more about this tool as well as the other tools that we have to help you in troubleshooting customer uh, cases. Um, we have also some documentation for this um, and these links will be in the description uh, for this session as well. And also we have a related feature because we saw before in the performance profile that it looked like there was a problem in the unopened page, but maybe you want to go and investigate that code. And a couple of releases ago, we actually made it very simple, fast to go from the web client into Visual Studio Code and look at code for the functionality that you are viewing. And we call that open in Visual Studio Code. And you can learn more about that if you look at the um, launch event sessions from last year. Uh, and uh, we'll provide a link in the description as well for this. Thank you for joining.